This lesson explains how to locate the Summary tab and what information is available on the Summary tab. You can view the Summary tab within a service order. The preferred method of accessing service orders is through Order Management. First, let's look at the Respond menu. These are orders that are awaiting acceptance, a counteroffer, a rejection, or a bid. Click on a blue service order link. The first thing displayed is the Summary tab. This order has not been accepted yet. The only tabs you'll see are Summary and Order History. Back in Order Management, let's look at the Current Orders menu. When we click on a blue service order link this time, a different set of tabs is displayed. The tabs you see are dependent upon the status of the service order. Summary is always the first tab. The Summary tab contains different sections. The sections will vary depending on the type of service order, the status, and the buyer you're working with. Let's take Sears Facilities, for example. When a Sears Facilities order is received and awaiting a bid, you'll see these sections. General information about the service order, the scope, which describes the work to be completed, service order bids, which identifies the bid amount and the bid expiration date, and comments, which allows you and the buyer to communicate while in received status. When this order moves to accepted status, a Documents and Photos section will be added. You'll use this section to upload required documents. It will display through the remainder of the life cycle. Maybe that Sears Facilities order is NTE instead of bid request. If the NTE order is in Receive status with a price on the order, you'll see a Service Order Pricing section instead of Service Order Bids. You'll also see Service Order Assignment, which allows the firm admin to assign a provider. Once that order moves to Accepted status, you'll see a Contact Information section. It will display through the remainder of the life cycle. Once accepted, Service Order Assignment will no longer display. Since the sections under the Summary tab will vary depending on the type of service order, the status, and the buyer, we'll go through each of the possible sections in order. The first section, General Information, always displays on every service order. At the top, you'll see information like the date of the appointment, the location of the appointment, and a link to Google Maps for directions. Overview describes what the buyer requires you to do if you accept the service order. Buyer's Terms and Conditions describes what you agree to if you accept the service order. Special Instructions are additional instructions about the service order that the buyer would like to communicate to you. Buyer references are optional custom reference fields used to track specific information by the buyer. For Innovel orders, the merchandise availability date is listed here. Orders for Innovel and Sears in-home will display add-on service opportunities. These are additional services that you may perform for the customer at a listed price. The Scope of Work section always displays on every service order. It identifies details of the work required to be completed. The Invoice Parts section displays for Sears in-home service orders. For more information about completing this section, please view the Summary tab Parts Management video. The Service Order Bid section only displays for bid request orders. It identifies the bid amount that you entered and the bid expiration date. Sears Facilities orders will use Comments. While the order is in Receive status, you can ask questions and receive replies. Once the order is accepted, this area will not be editable, but you will see the previous questions and answers. The Contact Information section displays for orders that are in Accepted status 
or later in the life cycle. It identifies the service location, buyer contact, and service provider information for the service order. The Documents and Photos section always displays on every service order. This is where you will attach all documents and photos required to complete the service order so the buyer can review, close, and pay. You can also view or print all documents and photos that you or the buyer previously attached. For more information about documents and photos, see the video in this section titled Complete for Payment tab, Active Orders. If parts are required for the job, you will see a Parts section. It may say Product at Job Site, which means the merchandise will be at the job site. If merchandise needs to be picked up, location information will be displayed. Name your Price Service Orders, or NTEs, with a price on the order will display the Service Order Pricing section. This section lists the labor and materials for the service order. If a permit is required, it will be listed also. Once the service order is completed, the 10% service fee and total provider payment will display. Name your price service orders or NTEs with a price on the order will also display the service order assignment section. You'll use this section when you receive the service order and are determining if you are going to accept, reject, or submit a counteroffer. For the Accept button to display, you must deselect the Assign a Provider Now checkbox or go ahead and choose a service provider. By clicking the Accept button, you are accepting the Service Live terms and conditions. Click the blue link to read the agreement in a new browser window. In this lesson, you learned about the information available on the Summary tab.